G'day. Cleaning the range hood filter or the stove hood filter is not a job that I want to do. And to be honest, I think most of us overlook it. But the recommendation is that we do it every six months. It definitely hasn't happened at my place, so this is well overdue. Anyway, this range hood has got three filters, so what I thought we'd do is a little experiment. We'll choose three household products, stuff you've probably got at home. We'll test them out, we'll see which one works the best, and then you can choose the one you prefer. Let's do it. These filters are disgusting. Look at this. It's even got oil ready to drip down onto the stove top. Normally you just um, use these spring-loaded clips to pop them out. The first option we're going to try is some spray-on oven cleaner. It says it's fine with stainless steel and it takes about 30 minutes to clean. The second option is some baking soda. We're going to use a cup of that with some dishwashing liquid, just a squirt. Option three is some dishwashing powder or a crumbled up dishwashing tablet. Now I'm just going to set that aside and let it soak for the half an hour that it recommends. Okay, option number two, one cup of baking soda and a squirt of um, detergent and boiling hot water. Now from what I've read about using baking soda as a cleaner, it's going to take 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Just now we've still got 27 minutes on the clock. Um, so we'll let that go for the 27 minutes and see how it looks. And number three, if I had dishwashing gloves that fit me, unfortunately I've got hands like a packet of sausages. We'll just try and break up this tablet. It's the same as tipping some dishwashing, some dishwashing detergent or some dishwashing powder in there. Just drop that filter in there. We've got 24 minutes left on the clock. Now you can put your um, filters in the dishwasher and it will clean them, but I've also heard there's a real risk of clogging up your drainage and your outlet side of your dishwasher. So maybe avoid putting your filters in the dishwasher. Baking soda is a really good non-toxic cleaner. Dissolved in a little bit of water. We'll put it on quite thick and just let it soak. See if it can uh, cut some of that grease off that's built up over, over time. Obviously you want to avoid the electrical components. Okay, time's up. Let's have a look. So which was this one? This was the dishwashing tablet or dishwashing powder. Okay, looks good. I don't think we'll need to do any scrubbing. Oh, look at the colour of that. Gross. So that's what's come out of the filter. That's really good. I think that's about as clean as you could get. Let's see how this oven cleaner has done. Just running it under some hot water. It's definitely loosened all that grease that's just falling off. That's really good. This last one was the baking soda and a squirt of dishwashing liquid. I'm going to run this under hot water and see what happens. Here are the three filters that we've cleaned, all lined up nice and dry. The first one we used the dishwasher tablet on. That did a really good job, 30 or 40 cents for one of those things. It was easy, we just soaked it in, a, um, in the sink with some boiling hot water for half an hour and that's come up spotless. No scrubbing required. This is the second one. This was the dishwashing liquid and the cup of um, baking soda. This was to start with the dirtiest filter so it was already at a disadvantage to start with, but it's done a good job. It's clean, $1.80 for the baking soda and a couple of cents for the dishwashing liquid. We sat it in a tray of boiling hot water for half an hour and then it just needed 
a little bit of convincing with a brush to get the majority of that sort of leftover grease out of it, running it under hot water. This is the one where we used the oven cleaner. It was a horrible product to use. It made me cough. Now we've got a leftover can going into landfill. It was the most expensive at about $4 or $3.50 for the can, but it has come up the best. This is the cleanest filter, bright stainless steel color. All right, so there we go. There's the comparison. I'll leave it up to you now to choose which one you prefer. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Use the comment section down below and let us all know if you'd use something different to clean your range hood filters. Join me at Inspired DIY and get inspired to take on projects, get things fixed and cleaned at your place. Like this video on how to adjust kitchen cabinet hinges. Check it out and I'll see you there.